Hi, and welcome to the wrongest of ways. And today, I'm gonna to tell you about nine reasons why you shouldn't get one of those. So, let me tell you more about it. Whee! Broadway. All right, so I, I've been using electric unicycles for over three years now but maybe over 30,000 kilometers. And as much as I love riding EUC, and I wouldn't exchange it for pretty much anything else, uh, especially in the city, there are some instances where you wouldn't want to get one of those or you would want to get an alternative, like a bicycle using public transport or move away from car infested hell. I swear, bro, just let me build one more lane. Anyways, let's just get right into it. The first reason, why you wouldn't want to get one of those is that it's a challenge. It's a skill. Riding EUC, especially at first, and getting all of the you know movements right that you could sort of go up, for example, this ramp, uh, will take some effort, and you will feel muscles that you didn't know existed before. <laughs> so, if you are not really a type of guy or girl that likes new challenges or you just like to go from point A to B and you learned already to how to ride a bike, you don't want to learn a new thing, you, you know how to ride a scooter, then maybe EUC is not the right thing for you. And when starting out, it might be a bit frustrating when you really want to ride and you see others ride, but you just simply can't. It takes effort, it takes practice, and the more you ride, the better you will get. The second reason why you might not want to get a EUC is that it's expensive. This guy on the roller is struggling. <laughs> so smaller EUCs are not that expensive and they're really close when it comes to price to bicycles, around 500 to, I don't know, 800, 900,000 euro. But if you want to get one of these, which is, you know, a better model with suspension, more speed. It can climb inclines, it has tons of torque. Yeah, this one costs around, I know, 3,000 euro. And if you really want to have something that will last longer, it has all the range, all the performance you need, you will need to spend upwards of 2,500 euro or even upwards of 3,000 euro. So while it might be also, you know, worth it in the long run, as there is not that much maintenance and it's dogs. The initial cost of getting one is actually quite high, so you might be better off just getting a bicycle or just using public transport. The third reason why you might not want to get an electric unicycle is that you will be an early adopter. And being an early adopter of a technology always comes with its perks. Being, it, you know, waiting longer for some parts, uh, EUCs being out of stock um, or just, you know, having some failures in the device from some, you know, small ones like bearings or, I don't know, the shell breaking, just some small minor scuffs to some bigger issues, especially uh, earlier on in the technology, which also led to fires. Um, now, this is, you know, with the fires, it's a still very small percentage, but it was there. So if you want to be like, on the safe side, you don't want to have any sort of, you know, hassle or you just don't want to be afraid of any failures, then probably getting a bicycle is a better idea. Electric scooters are also plagued with problems, so it's not like, you know, this is a bad technology. And I think in the micro mobility game, UCs are the most, you know, reliable. But on the other hand, a bicycle without any battery will just have less hassles. You won't be an early adopter. Parts will be more readily available. The next reason why you might not want to get a EUC are the legal matters. So in most countries, um, EUCs are pretty much gray zone with some exceptions where it's allowed to go, you know, 20 or 25 kilometers an hour. But usually those things are faster, right? Uh, but in some countries, like for example in Germany or Netherlands, they think you're a criminal, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, the law there gets more enforced and you might even go to jail because of writing this. Like, how crazy is that? So before that changes, uh, just look up uh, the current um, law in your country. Oh, maybe check out Monocat's video. And Monocat always has nice videos about legal matters in a, in a country. Just to be sure, if you actually can ride this thing in your area. Now, the 
practical side of things, it's always a bit different. And uh, I think out of all micromobility, EUCs get treated, you know, if, if there's a guy who lost all of his wheels, he has just one wheel left, the EUC, then why should I stop him, right? I think uh, the EUC just looks so novel and interesting that problems are not that common, but still, you might get a fine, you might get, uh, you know, even your EUC taken away. So inform yourself about that and go to protests if you want to support this cause. Another reason why you might not want to get a EUC is that you get a lot of attention. So if you are the type of guy or girl that just wants to go unnoticed through, you know, regular bike paths or you want to just arrive at your friend's place or at a party and just be treated the way everyone else gets treated, well, with EUC it's a bit different. You will need to deal with uh, people just asking you questions randomly, looking at you, uh, and especially with people you know, you will get a lot of questions for what it is, how fast is it, what's the range, what's the speed, will I kill myself on it? <laughs> it's way more uh, probable, by the way, that a car kills you. Yeah, it, if you don't like that type of attention, then getting some sort of less novel device will be a better option for you. Oh, I just love riding seated on a master. It's just the suspension. Oh, it's, it's like a TGV train. Another reason why you might not want to get a EUC is all the gear all the time. Now, whilst I'm comfortable walking around with all the helmet and on a bicycle where the speeds are up to like you know, 20, 25 kilometers an hour, I would be probably comfortable just wearing a helmet on EUC I rarely do that. As I'm riding right now, I'm wearing knee pads, wrist guards, motorcycle jacket with protectors, full face helmet. So if you add it all up and you just want to go to a cafe, you need to take everything off, take everything on. And in weather like this, it's just really warm and toasty, even with this motorcycle mesh jacket. If you don't want, like wearing gear, and I think you should wear gear at all times on UC, then, then maybe UC is not the best option for you. However, with just the exercise you get on UC, it's pretty easy to wear gear and you don't get as sweaty as you would get on a bicycle. By the way, all of those reasons that I'm telling you about right now aren't like deal breakers, or I guess it depends on you, on you if it's a deal breaker or not. Uh, I would just consider them to be points or reasons that will push you into one or the other direction. Another reason why you might not want to get a EUC, especially if you live in a uh, rural area or in some smaller town, and you want to ride with other people just like as a hobby, not to get from point A to point B, is that without any community, it's uh, kind of you know tough to find friends, tough to find people to, to ride with. So if you want to just get it as a sport, you either, it's either best to uh, convince your friends to get one as well. But yeah, if you just live in a small town, it's you know, difficult to try other UCs, then no, no. Uh, it's difficult to you know, go together on some ride outs. Maybe it's even difficult to get a service. So uh, inform yourself first maybe if in your area there is a community existing. It's way easier to thrive and you know, enjoy the sport uh, in an area where there is a UC community. Or maybe you're just really solo, then forget about that. Another reason, and this is a really big one to avoid EUC, is to have diagnosed uh, problems with balance. So if you really do have some diagnosed problems with balance or you always had trouble, I know, going on ski trips, rollerblading, uh, doing any sort of activities related to balance, then maybe uh, getting a EUC is not the best idea. I still consider it not to be as difficult. It's a bit like riding a bike. If you learn it early on uh, and you have some patience, it's actually quite easy to get it. And mostly people get it in like 10 minutes, hour, two hours, at least those that uh, I've been teaching. But if you just can't balance uh, and it's a diagnosed problem, then yes, 
you should consider a alternative means of transportation. And the last reason I have on my list in my notes on uh, why not to get a EUC is that you sort of always need to take it with you. Now, you can just get a chain lock or a U lock, but I'm just not comfortable leaving such an expensive device somewhere out there, especially one that in this case anyone just can turn on. Now, there are some, you know, EUCs that have um, electronic locks and uh, you know, it is possible to leave them outside. I think it's just not as comfortable as with bicycles. With bicycles, you just lock it, leave it outside, and, and that's it. Now, maybe a air tag can help, and there's definitely ways around that, but I just consider it a minor inconvenience. Now, you can also take the EUC with you into a store. Just use the trolley handle, and then you walk around. But that's also another thing that you need to carry in the store and you have just one hand less free. When I'm going, for example, to the dentist, I just leave it somewhere at the reception and here your mileage may vary. But if you go into whee, a store, then you'll just need to take it with you. And that's just a minor inconvenience. Thank you. With all of that said, I still love UC and this is my main mode of transportation, especially for longer distances in the city and going places. And if I go somewhere, maybe except for, you know, huge shopping spree or to the grocery store that is very close by or a fitness center, I will take the EUC. So if you have any comments about this, if you have any other reasons why, I don't know, you regret buying EUC, please let me know in the comments below. If you want to see an updated version of why to get an EUC, then also comment below. And if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you, and you'll see me once the ISO gets up, in the next episode. So, see you soon. Bye.